How you doing pre-algebra? We've reached the second section of chapter two and we're dealing with adding integers. The following terminology, um, opposites and additive inverse, you guys have heard of and seen this before, but let's just talk about it specifically. So when we're looking at opposites, we're talking about two numbers with the same absolute value but different signs. So that would mean that negative 3 and 3 are considered opposites. Negative 4 and 4, uh, 5 thirds and negative 5 thirds are all opposites. Additive inverses are integer is its integer and its opposite. And we remember from class when we were looking at properties, we talked about additive, additive inverses. If I have a plus the absolute, the opposite of a, pardon me, that's equal to zero. And we can see with these um, opposite pairs that's true. So additive inverse is an integer and its opposite. And specifically, the sum of the additive inverse, sorry, I didn't say this last part, the sum of the additive inverses is always zero. Hence the identity property that we have here, the additive inverse um, property that we have here. Your text has us looking at examples that um, require us to use a number line to add such things together. We're not going to do that typically, but I'll quickly jot down a number line here here um, so that we can actually kind of figure out how to do this if we need to. I hope that you guys know at this point that the answer to this is negative six, but let's see how we can use the number line to do so. So first we add to zero negative one and then we're going to add negative five which means to go back in this direction one, two, three, four, and five, and here we land on negative six. So you definitely can use a number line to do this, but we're gonna talk about rules of adding negative and positive integers in a moment. It's really to get these Okay rules. guys, this is example two. And um, so when adding integers with the same sign, just add and keep the sign the same. So for this first problem here, yeah, you see that, um, you are going to add these two numbers and they both have the negative symbol. So when you add them, they will equal up to a negative number because they both have the negative sign. Negative. And that negative number would be Three. No. Oh no. Negative nine. Nine. Negative nine. nine. Or something like that. That's a nine. Yeah. All right. So. And since these are positive numbers, they it's going to be a positive answer. So we're going to put this little plus thingy yeah. instead of a negative thingy. And it's going to be a positive six. Yeah, six. Yay. All right. Next problem. Let's yeah. Take a look at adding integers with different signs. So here's the rule that I like to follow with that. When adding numbers with different signs, we will subtract the numbers and then take the sign of the number with the highest absolute value. Sounds a little gobbledygook, but that last little line, I would usually say in kind of an offhanded, non-super mathematical way, we take the sign of the bigger number or the bigger looking number. The reason why we say the number with the highest absolute value, it takes care of the concept of the bigger looking number. Let's take a look at this first example here. So as I look at 12 plus a negative 16, the bigger looking number or the number with the highest absolute value is 16. Therefore, my answer will be negative. In a case where the signs are different, I'm going to subtract. So 12, um, 16 minus 12 is going to give me 4. So the answer to this is negative 4. Let's take a look at this next guy. Negative 7 plus 5. The number with the greatest absolute value is 7. Therefore, my answer is negative. Which, um, at this point, I'm going to subtract 7 minus 5 gives me two, so I get a negative two. Can you try this one on your own? Pause me and see what you get. Hopefully you got a negative 16 
the larger looking number or the larger with the number with the largest absolute value is that 20 therefore the answer is going to be negative just like the 20 and I subtract again the signs are different subtracting um, using sorry about that that was just crazy writing um, 8 plus a negative 13 Answer is going to be negative here again. Didn't realize I made all the answers negative when I did this. Answer is going to be negative. I'm going to subtract 13 minus 8, and my answer would be uh, negative 5. Let me just do this for kicks and giggles, just so you see it's not always the same way. Let's say I had a negative 2 plus a 3. 3 is the larger is the number with the larger absolute value. Therefore, my answer is going to be positive, and I'm going to subtract, and my answer is 1. All right, I think you guys know this, but just in case you don't, use this as a guide. Sometimes we can have real world word problems that give us some good um, opportunities to exercise our negative and positive adding skills. So let's check it out. A whale is currently at a depth of 20, 275 feet below the surface of the water. After 10 minutes, she rose up 194 feet. What is the current depth of the whale? So let's see how we could do this. That, that 275 seems like a great place for us to put a negative 275 and the reason why is because we're below the surface of the water and then we're going to rise 194 feet 194 feet so when I'm adding these two numbers up I'm going to see that the answer is still negative the wa the uh, whale is still underwater but um, the whale has risen and we'll see that the whale has risen up to a depth of 81 feet or negative 81 so the depth is now um, 81 and so we use negative because the whale is underwater in our last and final example we get to see um, the opportunity to add more than one or more than pairs of numbers so we're adding several numbers together still addition we're still going to follow the same rules so if I look at this first one when I add up this negative 6 and a negative 15 I remember same sign the answer is going to keep the same sign I'm just going to add so this becomes a negative 21 and now I'm going to continue plus 6 different signs here so my answer is going to take the sign of the higher number higher looking number my answer is going to be a negative 15 another way of looking at this um, by the way is if you guys remember the uh, commutative property we could have written this as 6 uh, plus negative 6 because the commutative property gives me the opportunity to move stuff around right so 6 plus negative 6 and then when I add these guys together they are additive inverses look at all the stuff we know coming together so they're additive inverses I get a 0 plus a negative 15 and then the answer is a little bit easier to come by but it's all good same thing I'm going to take these uh, pair by pair so 7 plus a negative 1 I'm looking at example B 7 plus negative 1 gives me a positive 6 think about it subtract the two numbers take the sign of the higher plus 26 plus a negative 13 so I'm going to take that 6 and 26 when I add up 6 and 26 I get 32 so this becomes 32 plus a negative 13. Here the signs are different. I'm going to subtract and take the sign of the higher looking number. The number tw uh, 32 is positive, and so that's going to be a positive 19. Finally, let's go ahead. 4 plus a negative 2. We're down at example C. 4 plus negative 2 is going to give me a positive 2, right? And then I'm going to add a negative 7 to that. And since 7 is larger, the signs are different, I'm going to get a negative five as my answer so that's our final example all right friends here's our homework uh pay, or not homework our assignment pages 72 to 73 and um the problems are as follows remember in your packet we already have it written down but just so you know um your assignment is as follows have a great one